Now the next step that we're gonna do is configure a billing alarm. One of the things that people run into as far as issues with cloud is they tend to rack up charges that they aren't expecting because they're not monitoring it. With billing alarms, we can set thresholds. So for instance, if we wanna be notified, if we spend more than $10 worth of charges, we can set up an alarm and that will email us. So this is a very important step that you wanna do right from the get-go so you're not racking up huge charges in your account. Again, you're using a free tier account for this video, but you can select other options and you could rack up charges. Now let's go ahead and configure a billing alarm. This is really important because we can actually set an alarm and that way if we hit a certain threshold, then we can get notified. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to services and then we're gonna go to management and governance and then we're gonna go to CloudWatch. Now in the upper left, we're gonna click billing and we're gonna click create alarm. Now for the metric name, you can name this whatever you want. I'm pretty much gonna use a lot of the defaults because most of them are acceptable. But down here in the bottom, this conditions part, this is really important. We wanna use a static amount. So we're gonna say $10. And if we go more than $10, so we're getting charged more than $10, then we wanna get alerted. So we're gonna type in 10 in this field here. Now you can use greater than or equal to, lower than or equal to, or lower. Just depends on what you're looking for. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit next. Okay, so in alarm, we want it to alert us when it is outside of our defined threshold. So when it's more than $10. And we're gonna create a new topic here. And we'll go ahead and go with the default, that's fine. And then down here, what you wanna do is you wanna type in the email address that you want to get alerted to when this actually triggers. So I'm just gonna use test at example.com, not a real email address or anything like that, but that way we have something in there and then hit create topic. Right, as you can see, that's the email address it has in there. So it's going to alert that email address when this triggers. And the other actions, we're not gonna do any of this stuff. We're just gonna leave it as default and hit next. Alarm name, we're gonna call this billing alarm. And we will say triggers when threshold exceeds 10 US dollars. And hit next. All right, it gives us a summary of our created alarm here. And everything looks good. So we'll hit create alarm. Now you wanna go through this whole part of the confirmation for that subscription with the email address. But once you have everything set up, then you'll start getting alerts if you go over that amount that you've defined. So again, this is really important with anything in the cloud because you don't wanna rack up unnecessary charges because you forgot to shut something down or you know something happened. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training without advertisements, resume reviews, career advice, and consulting services. And I'll see you next time.